Yeah, I'm going to go over trying to knock out a few of these dents with the red glue. And I got one here. Um, just try. This has actually been, it's like a low spot in here. I must have clipped it just a little bit. And there's another one up in here someplace. But I'm going to do is I got the glue gun, warm it up, give it about a good 10 minute warm up, get the um, isopropyl alcohol, rub it down, and where the hell are we at again? Here it is. It's pretty obvious, you know. Actually, you don't need that light bar. You got a little light you can use on the side. You can pretty much see, figure out what's going on. Yeah, here it is. There's a little light coming in on an angle. You don't need that stupid light bar. I've kind of figured it out. But I can see two dents and a third one right here. I'm going to try to pull out with the red glue. But I'm going to make sure that gun is really warmed up. I've been finding out, too, you want to put one tab on, wait a couple minutes, then do another tab, you know, if you're actually going to do this as a pro, you probably want to get a really high-end uh, glue gun that can throw out some serious heat because, you know, if you start pushing the glue through the gun, it'll it'll cool down, you know. So you got to, like, I'll do a tab, wait a minute or something or so, then I'll do a tab. I'm going to find that out, too. But I'm going to be using these red ones versus the black ones. And you can see it's pretty humid out here. It's wet. It's raining. So, um, you know, we'll see how this works out. Because I haven't been, it hasn't been pulling the dents out that great with the black glue. But I was using it around, I guess, about 98 degrees. And the black glue was only good to about 80. Maybe it's good to 90, but it's supposed to be between 60 and 80 degrees. The real hot temperature glue is the red stuff and it's for humidity so i'm probably if you're in florida georgia alabama louisiana or something like that down by the coast you probably want to make sure you got some of this red glue if you're up north it's getting cold all the time it's below 60 you want to have the yellow glue now i'm going to let these tabs sit up here for a few minutes i know they say 60 seconds is good and what i've been finding out too is I'll hold the tab like this right next to the um, where I'm going to put it on and I'll put the glue on it right there right right next to it so I immediately put it over like that so I know the glue hasn't cooled down even the slightest amount when it goes on there because the hotter the glue is the more it's going to get in those microscopic pores and grip better so we'll see how this pulls out this time give it a few minutes so we'll be back and check it out. Well, let me give it a shot here. I don't know if that pulled it out, but we shall find out. Don't seem like it's gripping that great, but we'll find out. That wasn't gripping good, so shall see what it did. That might have done, might have done something because it pulled from the center. I saw that, so I'm gonna probably get some of those tabs that are aluminum and use the red glue because this is a '99 car. It's a little thicker metal than like the 2007s and up, so I need some heavy stuff. Yeah, that, that did work. The dent is a hell of a lot less shallow, especially on this one. It's barely noticeable. Um, so, and this one popped out too. This this one's less less noticeable. So, uh, I'm going to keep working on it. Neil, this will work. Definitely get the damn red glue, so... You're best off, depending on your, you know, if you're going to be doing this stuff, you're best off getting some yellow glue, red glue, and black glue. And, you know, actually I'm in Florida, I don't think I'll have any use for yellow glue because even in the wintertime it can get up to 60 degrees. So, but, um, yeah, definitely, definitely works, man. 
I'm going to be getting some of those aluminum tabs though because I'm going to try it out on the El Camino. Um, and this metal is like about 16 gauge. I got a couple, of I got dings on here and I know like the car needs to be painted. But I want to experiment with the aluminum tabs and see how they work out. So I'm going to test it on some old cars. So with the red glue, see how that works out. This is the old El Camino. Yeah, so I put some smaller tabs because there's, there's, like, I don't even know, I think I got the damn other one out. This might be another dent. You know, I might have actually pulled the other one out, but this one I didn't get all the way out. But I got part of it out, and I put two tabs down here for this, you know, slight dent back down here that you can't notice too much. But um, the beauty of this deal is I could stop any time. You see, like, um, I might have, I won't finish this right now, but, hey, you know, I'll just unplug the glue gun, put the stuff back in a plastic bag, uh, you know, after the glue gun cool, cool, glue gun cools down, and I can come back to it at any time. You know, if I'm doing, like, something else, what I'm doing is in a, you know, a stud welder, you know, with a stud, you know, with, with pulling this out, I'd have to paint it and all this kind of garbage. This... I mean, I could spend an hour here, an hour there, as I got time, or as the weather permits. You can see it's raining out here, and uh, do it. That's the beauty of this damn thing. And I got a little dent up in here too. I was always wondering how the hell to get rid of this shit. I'll probably I'll put something on there. We'll get rid of that. <laughs> 